Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that jelly bean. Something happened yesterday, huh? Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, yeah. That happened. What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to Friday's episode of The Mandroid Show. I am David, of course, your Mandroid host. Follow me down there on all those social media machines, okay? You can hear all the stupid sh that I say. Anyways, guys, we've got a lot to talk about. Let's get started. Yes, yes, yes! The Nexus 5 is now upon us, and it's being shipped out to you guys who put in your orders. Well, at least the uh, early birds I did, because I had their already short-stocked in <laughs> weeks. Always happens. Yes, the Nexus 5 was finally unveiled to us at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. No, Eastern Time? Pacific Time. It's Pacific Time. He actually got up early, like 6.30, 7 o'clock, but I didn't get out of bed because I kept checking my feeds, and I was like, I don't see anything. You don't see anything. And I kept hearing 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, okay. So finally I got out of bed at 8 o'clock. Nothing happened. Then we were hearing 11 o'clock, and sure enough, boom! Nexus 5 hits the Play Store, 16 gigabyte version, and a 32 gigabyte version. There's pretty much nothing new that we know about this phone. This, this phone was probably the worst kept secret of all phones. I mean, I think Google just did that just to market it. Honestly, they didn't, they didn't have to host the event. They didn't have to throw out all these crazy commercials and everything like that. They just had to just throw little tidbits out there, little teases, and then everybody gets all excited and we just blow it up to like epic proportions. Let me know if you guys got a Nexus 5. I know a lot of you did. I mean, they sold out really quick and you know, I think the 16 gigabyte sold out the quickest, the black version, but I think they restocked it. I don't know, let me know which ones you guys got and how excited you are. If you have one, which I only think the tech reviewer guys have it. Bastards. Then we got Android 4.4 KitKat. It's already been making its way out there and there's so much crap. Oh man. I mean, it's only one increment up, but they have made so many improvements and it's just awesome. I mean, obviously this wasn't a huge makeover, but for being just one increment up, there's a lot going on here. I mean, they have a whole new launcher called the Google Experience Launcher that is pretty different. It's pretty like, wow, okay, didn't see that coming. Of course, we see all what we saw before. We have the transparent status bar as well as the transparent navigation bar, and you have the option to do full screen too, but they gave you also like a little feature too. Like say you're in a game or you're watching a video in full screen, you wouldn't be able to look at your notifications until you were completely out of that app. You can actually not, you don't have to do that now. You can just swipe down and see your notifications which is cool, it's just little improvements like that. Then of course, little improvements to like NFC and improvements to the dialer and phone app. The phone app now, it looks very card-like, looks kind of like how we have in Google Hangouts where you have everything looking like they're in cards and all your most frequently contacted people will be up top, which is pretty cool, I think that's pretty awesome. But then people are talking about, I've, I've been seeing uh, posts hover around all day that I guess Google might insert ads into your dialer. I didn't really look into this. I just remember seeing the post and I, I guess I should have before I, <laughs> I hit the record button. But I guess there's an option to turn off so it's nothing to get too worried about. And I guess one of the huge things which you don't necessarily have to have Android 4.4 for. Wow, that, 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 that was a, a lip. Fire. Fire, 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 fire. Text messaging is no longer existing in the Android ecosystem. Well, not exactly. Obviously, it's still in older versions. But if you upgrade to Android 4.4, guess what? No text messaging. All handled by Google Hangouts and Google Hangouts 2.0. There's actually 2.012 or something like that. It's been released to the public. Um, and yes, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty weird, too. It's kind of of having withdrawals. It's almost like worlds are colliding because I always had my text messaging friends, which are usually friends that I that are around me and that I see all the time. And then I had my Google Hangouts friends and a lot of them were just online friends who some of them I haven't even met, met or anything. Now it's like, I don't know what's going on. It is pretty strange. I'm still trying to get used to it because sometimes I'm like tempted to just open up that text messaging app and I'm like, wait, wait, no. It's all googly oogly. Performance has gotten better. They've made multitasking a lot smoother. They optimize the memory a little better so then everything runs a little smoother. Um, 
Google Now, everything's improved with that. You can actually, with that launcher, the Google Experience Launcher, you can just swipe to the left and you have all your Google Now information right there. Not to mention the UI has completely changed. There's a, when I was playing with it last night, I was like, wow, that's different. I mean, I can go over all the features that Android 4.4 has, but I'm not going to. Yeah, you don't want me to. You, you don't want me to. <laughs> I don't want this video to be like two and a half hours long. Would you watch me for two hours? The factory image did land yesterday and it just got, I mean, developers went, okay, take this, take that, take this, take that. Then they dispersed it out of the public, so now we got a lot of Nexus 5 and Android 4.4 apps coming out of the woodwork. So we got the Hangouts, the SMS integration, we got the keyboard, we got Nexus 5 wallpapers, we got the Google Experience Launcher. It's all down there for you. If you guys haven't gotten on your phones, check them out. All the links are provided down below. Try it out. I mean, you might like the launcher. Some people are really digging it. I mean, it looks really cool too. I really like that app drawer icon. Sexy. Now, of course, since Android 4.4 has come out from the rock it's been hiding under for the past couple months, now we gotta hear from the other OEMs on when they are plan on updating their devices. Google, Motorola, and HTC have all spoken about this, and I guess Google, of course, is going to be updating their Nexus devices, all except for the Galaxy Nexus, which is kind of weird because Android 4.4 is supposed to it's supposed to help the fragmentation that's going on in the ecosystem. Now, obviously, every time we jump up another version of Android, the, the fragmentation gets so much worse, but I guess. Android 4.4 is supposed to actually work on older devices that have not that much RAM and just old hardware. But for some reason, the Galaxy Nexus is reported not going to get Android 4.4, which is a little strange. But the rest of the Nexus phones are getting are getting the Android 4.4 update. And Motorola came out of the woodworks too and said, hey, okay, yeah, our new phones are going to get it. So if you have a Moto X as well as a new Droid line on Verizon, you'll be getting it soon. No word on exactly when it's going to start rolling out. Probably not... I'm sure the Moto X is going to get it first since it's like Google. The Google Edition HTC One and Galaxy S4 will receive it, I guess they said in 15 days, so probably what, mid-November, uh, it'll start getting that Android 4.4 update. And then they said the uh, HTC came out and Jason McKenzie, the guy who's always on, on Twitter saying the up, talk about the updates and everything that, he says 90 days in the HTC One in North America will have Android 4.4, so we got three months. <laughs> I don't know why he said 90 days. I guess three months just sounds a lot longer. Other than that, Samsung didn't really talk about when they were gonna upgrade their devices to Android 4.4, neither did um, LG or anything like that. So let me know what you guys think down below in the balls area about everything, about Nexus 5, Android 4.4. What's your favorite feature that you saw yesterday or today, whenever the heck you saw it? And make sure you check all those downloads for you and let me know how those are. Well, all right, guys, that's all the Android news I wanna talk about today. Obviously, that was pretty much it, you know? It was strictly Nexus and Android 4.4 day yesterday. I did three videos. I went to post. Almost freaking. Nah. I literally almost headbutt my computer screen because our site got a little wacky at, at a moment there because I think it was just high traffic. Anyways, guys, hit that like, thumbs up button if you like today's show. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android host, and this has been Nexus 5 Droid Show. Or Kit Kat Droid Show. I really want Kit Kat. Man. Like, I have a hankering for a Kit Kat. I really see this happening in my future. That and a bunch of alcohol. Alright guys, talk to you later.